Good evening. A state panel is out with recommendations to increase safety for battery energy storage systems like this one, which caught fire at a solar farm near Shamo last summer. Seven News reporter Lexi Burning finds out if a state lawmaker agrees with the recommendations and what first responders should know. Tarps cover lithium ion battery containers at a solar farm near Shamo. Months ago, they were covered in flames. First responders stayed at the site 24 7. They walked in basically unknowing of what the situation was about there. In late July, these batteries began to burn and continued to for days. In the aftermath of the fire and two others across the state, Governor Kathy Hochul formed an interagency fire safety working group. On Tuesday, it released its first draft of recommendations in case of future battery fires. And if you were in the uh, Shamo Lime fire site and then you read this document, you know firsthand this is in response to some of the situations that were encountered during that time. The recommendations would require farms to create an emergency response plan written specifically for first responders. It would require more signage with emergency contacts and hazard warnings and site-specific training for first responders. Good, necessary, who's paying for it, right? Who, who's paying for it? Uh, that's my concern. This document isn't an easy read. Gray says he'll be meeting with Shamo Fire Chief Will Lipchinski soon to go over the recommendations and make further comments. Uh, equipment needs, equipment that he could have used at the site or that can be installed in the site. The recommendations in this report are not final. They're drafts and the state is looking for more input. The public comment period ends March 5th. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.